Hello and welcome back to The Shed. In today's episode, you might have noticed I've got the workbench out of the way because I have an outdoor table here that I'm going to be resurfacing the top of for my parents. Hope you enjoy. Before we begin, I just want to bring you in so you can see what this table looks like and you can see what I'm talking about in terms of it being dirty and weathered before I begin. So as you can see here, we've got it all faded here. It looks like a bit of rain's got on it here and it's just really lost its colour in a lot of spots. The first thing I'm going to do to clean this table up is just get all the dirt off it. So I'm going to give it a quick sweep back with this, just a, a brush here, just to take any loose dirt off. And then I've got a damp cloth that I'm going to wipe it down with. And after that, we'll see what we're working with. And then we might move on to a little bit of sandpaper to clean the surface off before we refinish. See here I'm going with the grain. Now you could use a an orbital sand or something like that to sand this back if you wanted to. These are all warped and all over the place so they're not flat so I'm finding that it's easier just to sand by hand. see I've just gone ahead and I've done a bit of a it's a light sanding I'm not looking to take all the finish off because the color I'm using is very similar so I'm just going to go ahead with that so before I go and apply this I'm just going to go with my damp cloth again and just wipe the whole table over to remove the dust <music> So now we've cleaned the table down, sanded it back, and given it a wipe off to take the dust off. We're now ready to apply the finish. I'm going to apply one coat and see how it penetrates into the wood and how it looks once it's on there. I'm just going to apply it with a bit of paper towel. And the instructions on here tell me to shake the can well, which I will do. And then I will just apply it in one or two coats just applying it in little circles and not putting on too much in any one layer. So from here on, after we've done this first coat, I'm going to allow it to dry. It'll probably take a few hours to fully dry, maybe up to four, five, six hours, depending on your climate and the location of your, your piece. So the second coat has now finished on the table. The uh, surface came up a little tacky in a couple of spots where I might not have quite wiped off the excess that I should have. So what I'm going to do is just do a finishing coat on top of this table, which will help to just even that out. I'm going to use a little bit of boiled linseed oil, which is one parts beeswax to five parts linseed oil. And I'm going to apply that with some five naught steel wool just to help even the surface out and give it a nice little luster and uh, a very light protective coating of wax over the surface.
So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like these type of videos and would like to see more of this type of work, please let me know and I can try and integrate it into my video schedule. I'd also like to see your latest restoration projects, if you've done some restoration work or resurfacing work of your own. If you want to check out more restoration videos, check out up here and up here for some of my tool restorations. Thank you.